Welcome back everybody to another episode of the GC Informer. I am Snowy, otherwise known as Count Fracula, bringing you some news. All I'm willing to say on the matter. Who remembers the very beleaguered No Man's Sky, a game that uh, attracted its fair share of controversy because it could not live up to the humongous hype train that it built for itself and a lot of the questions about whether it lied and whether the development team and Sean Murray lied about things about its release. We shan't get into that here though because we're going to talk about its new huge update that's finally pretty much gonna bring the game up to what we were expecting it to be in the first place. If you didn't know the update is called No Man's Sky Next and it adds a huge ton of changes and new features to the game to make it, it is basically to make it what was promised in the first place. The big addition of course being a multiplayer. While you don't get a sort of seamless open thing like you do in games like Elite Dangerous, you can have a party of up to four people in a particular game where it's just, you know, you four playing like that together, actual proper multiplayer. So that is good, that is something. There have also been several changes to the story, particularly the start of the story has been changed slightly. And apparently while there is still an element of having to grind and resources to recover your ship, it's changed a bit, it's been balanced a little bit better, hopefully, because um, I know that was a lot of people's problem with the game in the first place. So mm. there's also been quite a few visual tweaks to the game just to make it, in fact, basically a visual overall, just to make it look as pretty as possible. The art style itself, when it originally launched, was pretty good. You know, it had its own unique little style, but it could have been a little bit better. It's slightly rough in areas and I'm, well, we're being told that that's very much changed. Going away from the game side of things though, Sean Murray in particular has said that uh, they as a company, Hello Games, will do... It is Hello Games. Yes, Hello Games. Brain fart. Uh, they will do a lot more work in terms of communication with the fan base because if you remember, when the game launched initially, there was a you know, a good couple of months of basically radio silence from Hello Games and Sean Murray because, well, partly because of the backlash to the uh, the product that was received, which isn't the best way to handle things. I think they realise that and they have said publicly that they are going to be doing a lot more communication and uh, listening to a lot more feedback regarding this next update. However, this launch has not gone entirely smoothly. It is now out in all regions and uh, on all consoles to the best of my knowledge. But the game got released on GOG on PC. It was also released on Steam initially. It's had that update and now it's been added to the good old games store, GOG Galaxy. Very good little store. And um, that, re that version, for whatever reason, doesn't have the multiplayer enabled which is odd and um, basically they've said sorry we'll try and fix this soon thanks for your patience so yeah it's, it's hello games it's no man's sky something had to go wrong but regardless there is a huge update and the game has been heavily discounted to coincide with that if you don't own it already it is now $20 or about £15 and I wouldn't pay full price for it personally anymore. I mean, I wouldn't have paid full price for it when it launched, but I certainly wouldn't pay full price for it after after everything that's happened around the game. So, you know, I'd be more tempted to pay this discounted rate. It's uh, up on this rate until the end of July, pretty much, and it's the 27th. And then after that, it goes back to sort of basically full price. In some rather sad news, there have been some layoffs at the e at the developing company Evo, uh, formerly known as Evolution Studios, who made the recently released Onrush, which I've talked a couple of times about on the newscast, and uh, Drive Club. And yeah, there's there's been some layoffs, unfortunately, because Onrush, unfortunately, while it is a good game, I finally own it. Uh, didn't uh, didn't set the sales boards alight. In fact, um, I'll uh, I'll uh, 
talk about it a little bit here. I saw the game initially at launch, I really wanted it, but the full price on the PlayStation Store was £55 or £65 for the Deluxe Edition. And uh, they had this basically the same prices in physical media in store. However, after just a couple of weeks, uh, Tesco, a supermarket in my country, had it discounted down to £32. And I just looked today in Tesco again, and unfortunately it's gone down again to £25. And that's not a price that uh, you expect a game that was initially selling for a full sort of $60, $70 price to be going for in less than a month. So that's unfortunate. As a result of this then, so obviously didn't set didn't set the world alight. The people obviously haven't been coming in and buying it. There have had to be layoffs at the studio. It's a great shame. I always think it's a shame when uh, promising studios like this do have to make layoffs. In fact, uh, one of the major people who've been who've been uh, laid off in this in this wave was actually the director of both Onrush and Drive Club. Again, I I say this when every single studio has sort of layoffs. I really hope these people find jobs in other in, in other places in the industry because Onrush in particular, while I don't think it was worth the price that they were charging for it, is actually a pretty good game. I'm really sort of, I'm enjoying it a lot. And uh, to see that kind of thing happen is just a bit of a shame, really. So um, unfortunately, that's how, it's, that's how it's going. And there's been layoffs at that studio, but uh, hopefully, Hopefully those people can get back on their feet and get into other jobs within the industry. And uh, on that note, I think let's wrap up today's news. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the GC Informer. And if you did, please give us a like, subscribe or a share, whatever you fancy. And our social links are down in the description with a link to our Discord where you can join in some chats with members of our lovely growing community. And uh, stay tuned to Gamecast for news, reviews, let's plays, podcasts, great content and uh, lots of cool stuff coming up. And we're making quite a few changes because we've been going for just over a year now. Wow. And um, and we're just like planning on changing a few things up, bringing new things in. So look forward to that. And uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon for more news and other stuff.